Hello, good afternoon to you. Welcome to Business. Now, founder and CEO of Reroy Group, Kate Kote Papafio, has underscored the essence of building and working effectively with teams in order to achieve corporate goals and objectives. She was sharing her thoughts at this year's Ghana Quality Business Awards over the weekend. 35 individuals and businesses were recognized for their exceptional performance in business at the Business Quality Awards held in Accra. Kate Kote Papafio, who was honored as a business icon, noted there exists numerous business potential within Ghana and elsewhere in the sub-region yet to be tapped. She said this would be achieved uh, to move the country forward if only emphasis is placed on teamwork. You can win without a team. The only way is to work with a team. To achieve is to work with a team. And also, there is so much potential in this country that all of us need to actually look at it. How we're going to tap into the potential that we have. And not only in Ghana, but also to look at the sub-region. Because out there, there's a lot of business, but in the sub-region, we can actually put hands together and work as a team. It's actually really, I'm honored to be appointed as an icon. And in business, if you don't have challenges, then you are not moving. The question is, challenge comes for you to think and to elaborate what you have. And only challenges that will come on your way is actually just getting, we have to be tough. Because at the end of the day, all over the world is difficult. The question is, how are we going to position ourselves to achieve what we have and the potential that we have in this country? We have a lot that we don't think that we do have. But I think that if we are to put our hands together and our minds together, we'll be able to actually move the country forward as a team. Meanwhile, General Manager for Coconut Group, Sakumono, Roberta Tokonu, who also picked an award for being the best hospitality sector, and has called the essence of uh, government streamlining uh, taxes in the industry. You pay a lot of taxes, as you rightly said, and I mean, we can talk about pay as you earn, talk about the tourism levy, and that's where, for me, my concern is we always charge 1% on every transaction, and every month, I mean, we have accrued a lot of revenue for the tourism um, um, sector. And if you look at the tourism sector in general in Ghana, it, it needs a lot of improvement. And my question is, where is the money going to? Are we using it for the right purposes? Are we using it as intended? I think um, the ministry needs to take a second look and then make sure that those funds that are being generated are actually going to the necessary um, infrastructure de development that needs to come up from um, the tourism industry. There are so many taxes, so many levies that, I mean, because it is a structured industry, it's always slapped on you, you know. Uh, AMA comes with it, yes. Um, if you are in Tema, TMA comes with yes. Um, as I mentioned, tourism levy and all those uh, metropolitan assemblies and um, EPA and all those people come for their monthly or yearly um, tariffs. So if there's a way those tariffs can be looked at a second time and it's been streamlined and bulked up, then we can have a better you know, industry because most times people say that hotels are expensive, but there are so many hidden charges, so many of them. And of course, the company as a hotel cannot um, take up all those responsibilities. Sometimes it needs to trickle down to the customers. And that is how come it looks as if our rates in Ghana are a bit higher. And also with some business updates, I'm coming back shortly on the marketplace for more business development. My name is Imano Apwaji. We are free. Have a good afternoon.